All right, Legends, welcome back to video number 16 on PHP and MySQL. And in this video, we are going to deal with arrays. And I want to spend a little bit of time on this video because arrays are going to be extremely useful for us in PHP. And not only PHP, but they're in every programming language. So you might want to just watch this video the first time through without following along and then trying to follow along the second time you watch this video. At least that's what I had to do when I first started learning about arrays. But okay, let's go ahead and get going. So in the last couple of videos, we've been creating variables that are equal to one value, a equals five or b equals three. So an array, how am I gonna word it? An array is a way to store multiple values of data into a variable. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and create an array and I'll title this variable bands. And it's gonna equal to, we can't just start typing a string or uh, a bunch of numbers in. We have to write array and we have to give it, I think these are parentheses. I always get parentheses, brackets, and braces mixed up, but I think these are parentheses. I don't want to stop this video and try to figure it out. So just bear with me and I'll just close it out now. Okay, so in here, I'm going to start listing off bands. I'm going to type in, I don't know, the who, comma, um, Led Zeppelin. Nope. We'll give it the clash. Comma, then how about Frank Zappa? Okay, so we just created an array. We have one, two, three, four, four elements in our array, and each one of these elements has a specific key to it. And here's a good rule of thumb. Computers start counting at zero, humans start counting at one. So the who right the who right here, this would be considered zero. Led Zeppelin would be one, the class would be two, and Frank Zappa would be three. So say we had a whole of array, and on the big picture scale, imagine like Facebook had millions and millions of people in an array and they just wanted to pull out one people. So how we index that, pull out one element of an array, is we have to index it. So we have to We'll do echo bands, and the way we index it, no, not banks, bands, is we need to use, I think these are brackets. And say I wanted to source out the clash. Well, I know that its key index is 0, 1, 2. The who is 0, Led Zeppelin is 2, and the clash is 2. Wait, what did I say? The who is 0, Led Zeppelin is 1, and the clash is 2, and Frank Zappa is 3. So say I want the clash to output into our browser. Well, I'm going to type in 2, and I'm going to close this out, and now this should work. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to reload it. Boom, the clash. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Say that we wanted to have, we wanted to create a different array that didn't deal with string. We wanted it to deal with numbers. So we'll go ahead and call this variable age. And again, we have to write array, and I'll do my parentheses now, and close it out so I don't forget. And we'll say, I don't know, one person is 28, the next person is 34, 55, 21, um, 29, I guess it doesn't matter, there's no right or wrong, and 43. So again, we have what? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six elements in our array. So 28 would be zero, 34 would be one, 55 would be two, 21 would be three, 29 is four, and 43 is five. So say we just wanted to pull out the guy that's 43 years old. So we're gonna do echo age, nope, age, and we wanna pull out the fifth element. We index it by writing fifth right here. We're going to close it out. So when we reload it, it should output number 43 into our browser. So we're going to go from the class to 43. Okay, perfect. So, okay, in this in this video, we have learned how arrays work and we dealt with an array that had a string of text, which was the bands that we created as well as numbers. And uh, good luck with this. If you guys have any questions, email me or write a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you and I'll see you guys in the next video.